Hey! Uh, today must be my lucky day. My name is Michael. Okay. Alright. Yeah, um... Yeah. Like I said, today must be my lucky day. Well, lucky is a lady. So what can I do for you? How about you letting me give you a ride to anywhere you're going, my dear princess? And how about you being a bit more responsible by packing your car properly? You want chop from the same place where you're going to take chop, Abby? Business, things got out of hand. Baby, baby, listen, listen. Baby, 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 it's not what you think it is. That one, baby. That one. Hey, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Shut up. I'll come back. And don't get dressed. I'll be back. Let me go. Hello? Yeah, you hold up a minute. It was just a mistake. Just a mistake. A mistake? A mistake? Mm -hmm. With anybody else but notorious Ada? Come on, baby, don't even start. I know there's a catch. What bloody catch? My parents are lonely. I'm just trying to get me some bread. What's the big deal? Is that what you can say? Listen, I didn't even enjoy it. It's just business. You're personal, baby. Come on. You betrayed me because of money. This is all you can say. I'll betray my own mother for money. How could you tell me that, Phil? They do things for me home and abroad. That's how the bills get paid. How do you think we live in luxury? Huh? Don't you enjoy living with me? I hate you. Oh, yeah. I hate you so very much. Mm. But guess what? I will not leave this place without giving you something to think about. Yeah, I mean I heard that one before. Why don't you watch me and okay. see? Okay. Well, listen, not watch me and see. Yes, okay. Wait on! Watch me and see. Okay. You see? Okay. Don't start something you can't finish. Alright. Don't start something you can't finish. Jello. Jello. Yes, you better come back here. You can't handle it. Well, that girl too can handle it. I better tell you right now. You. I want you out of this house. You out of my house. I said out of this house. Out of this house. Out. Yeah. out. You. What? Did you make anything? Okay. Yeah! 
Tell me what happened. Too embarrassed to talk about it. Listen, I'm not going to push, okay? But he's your boyfriend, right? I thought so until now. You know, what I find baffling is why would a guy go to the extent of doing this to you? Except, of course, you did something terrible to him to bring out the animal in him. Would you ever disgrace your girlfriend publicly for any reason? Well, we are different humans and we have our different ways of treating different issues. But I'll never for any excuse use violence to solve any problem. Chu is no human. He's an animal. But you love him? Not sure anymore. Well, that's understandable because you're upset right now. I'm not upset. I meant what I said. I'm not sure of him anymore. Well, we all have our pride. He'll definitely come back and beg you and everything will be good after. Not with you. I do all the begging and pleadings. I guess that's why he should send this way. 
Love can be foolish, you know. Yes. I know. You know? Because I'm in love? <laughs> you know, I like your sense of humor, really. What were you doing there anyway? Waiting for you. For me? Yes, I followed you and I was willing to wait till sunset. What if I hadn't come out? Well, I would have gone back home and come back in the morning till you showed up. Why would you do that? Because I like you. I think I should leave. <laughs> I hope it has nothing to do with what I just said now. No? Maybe I'm scared. Scared? Why? Your eyes? My eyes? I'm scared of what I see in your eyes. That the eyes has a way of giving out our true emotions. That scares me. It's all right, I'll drop you off uh, with my other car. Why? You want to show off? Trust me, my dear, I'm not that kind of guy. My mechanic will be coming in 15 minutes to pick up this car. So, please, after you. This is where you live. My friend's house. Really? My house is around the corner. Mm, precisely where? I won't tell you. I guess you don't want me waiting for you from sunrise to sunset. Perhaps. Can I see you again? No. And why? As I told you, when I looked into your eyes, I did not like what I saw.
Anita, when will you ever learn? I mean, I thought you were streetwise. Is it not obvious to you that Phil is just using you? He loves me. I know you were dumb. But I never figured it was this bad. We always quarrel, but we always have a way of sorting ourselves out. You know what? Your truth is stupid, right? Talk to me. Who made up for the money he used in paying for his apartment? You. Who bought the car he's driving? You. Who feeds him, clothes him, and takes care of him? Same you, Anita. What is it with you? You have no idea how nice he can be when he's in a good mood. <sighs> of course, I don't know. The only thing I know is you're the dumbest friend I ever had. You know, just look at you. You go about town telling people how rich your parents are. Well, in the true sense of it, you live in one very tiny apartment in the worst side of town. Thank you very much for the emphasis. Why this history? Why? For you to wake up. Wake up! Because money you not get. Then you go carry all this fine body. Oh, hey! You go hustle, hustle. Then carry the money, give man. What is your problem? When will you ever stop living a lie? I can see them not welcome here. So let me go to my poor home and think of my life. Did you say life? <laughs> no! Until you get over feel, girl, you don't have a life. Thank you very much. Oh! Signage! <laughs> now this team will feel the pump. Huh? Now they confuse your brain. Oh, show free. Wake up. I can't. Hustle and give it to a guy? No way. Pious! Am I the cause of the accident that kept you crippled on this chair? Eh? You are a fool to have asked me such a question. What has my being crippled got to do with this? Is it not obvious? The frustration is written all over you! Useless man! And now what is it again? Is it not this your useless father? That not allow me to breathe in this house! Papa, what has she done this time? See me say trouble! Each time this your useless father see any of my male friends drop me in front of the house, he will just start wrecking as if he saw a ghost. Friends? What sort of friends? Every day, a different man brings you home. Papa, they are her business partners. Oh, tell him. What, what sort of business is your mother into? That attracts different kinds of men who goes out of their way to, bring, to drop out. She's into contracts. And you know that. I agree with you. She offers her services to men who contract her. Is that will punish this your useless mouth. I don't have the time. When last did you contribute a couple into this house? Is it not the same me that will go out there, move around to get money to take care of your miserable life? Take it easy. Why do you like to say such hurtful things to her? It's not fair. It's not fair. How will you see anything wrong with her lifestyle when you apparently have taken her after her? Please, please, Papa. I'm begging you. Don't start with me this evening. I've had a very, very rough day. You see? You see your life? Now you can go to the market and say you brought up a decent and well-behaved daughter. Pius, I don't have your time at all. If you like, call me and my daughter Wayworks. But you must remember one thing, that these Wayworks are the one feeling you, taking care of your miserable god for second life and paying the rent. And see, you're not grateful. I don't know why God has just decided to punish me with such miserable, useless man like you. Die, you don't want to die. Kick the bucket like others, you don't want to kick. I will kick it for you, so I can live a normal life like other people. Miserable fool. You have to die. Huh. John! John! Truly certain names affect some people. Because you take joy in giving out the pride of your womanhood to some men. 
just because I'm like this. So you think I'm happy now, huh? Listen, you, if you don't smile this moment, trust me, I'll start crying this moment too. Oh, you better start crying because you went and brought that thing to beat me. Girl, that thing has been like glue. I've done everything in my world to shake her off. But she just stopped there. I'm glad you came along. Look, Phil. Mm. If I see you with her again, it's over between us. Break my lips. It's over between us. No, I can see your sex in this room. But you don't have to say it's over. It's just the beginning. Because I'm going to give that girl a wild birth. Believe me, I'll get a restraining order. From now on, everything is okay, baby. Well, everything is not alright. It's not alright. Look, my body's aching. Oh. Everything is not alright. Oh, baby. Baby, baby. Okay. Is your body aching? Don't worry about it. I'll massage but you, baby, okay? I don't even know why I love. I like you so much. I... Um, let me tell you. You like me because I love you. That's the difference. Do you love me? Baby, to the bone. What you see in my eyes when I told you? So why didn't you stop that wild thing from attacking me? Why? Because it's obvious, baby. The reason is right there. I, I wanted this to happen so the chick would realize how much I idolize you. It had to happen, baby. Don't you see? Okay. Look, Phil. I will forgive you as long as it doesn't happen again. As long as I leave, it will not happen again. Now let's just stop all this talking. You know what I mean. Okay, mommy. So what do you want me to do for you? matter of the 300,000 I asked you to loan me. Hmm? Uh, what about that? Hmm? Hmm? Well, none of the... I don't think you must set my body thoroughly. I mean, like, bread this to naked and the oil, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you move my you. <laughs> so, Phil doesn't want to call me. Not even a text message. Well, I'll not please his stupid ego by calling him. If there's anybody who is going to beg, it will be him. I felt he wouldn't call. This one wants to become a nuisance. Apparently he wants what all of them want. 
I'm no longer giving freebies. Phil has taught me a lesson. Except, of course, he's willing to pay for it anyway. satisfaction. I'm not about to make you sleep well. You have a sleepless night there. But wait a minute. I need to complete dirty if she chooses to. I have to watch my back. Considering the fact that I owe her so much. Man, whatever. I'm just being me, man. I can't live another man's life. You've got bars under your eyes. No, oh, thanks for noticing. I didn't. I'm sure you didn't sleep well last night. Well, I slept like a child. Thank you very much for asking. Well, I've said my own if you like. Keep giving yourself sleepless night because one guy who does not really care you exist. Can you please learn to see the things you know? He cares about me a lot. Oh, yeah. I know him. His pride will never let him do it in like that. Perhaps he's up to something. Something like what? You know, like, um, protecting himself because you've given him so much and he has pushed you to the world. Everything I gave to him, I gave to him because I love him, not because I'm mad. Madness? Yeah. Madness is sleeping with one guy and giving to another who you call the boyfriend. A broke ass. That's madness. While your father is there dying out of frustration on the wheelchair. Really? You're honestly going to advise me? Because as far as I can remember, you and I sleep with men for money. So it's no business of yours how I choose to spend my own money. Oh, you're right. You know, I'm in the same business as you, yeah. But look at me, I'm an achiever. All right? From this dirty business I do with you, I've been able to get myself a decent apartment. But you're in my house. I drive a car. I've got savings. I take care of my family, and above all, I got me a man, someone who loves me and is ready to settle with me very soon. So, girlfriend, tell me, there's a comparison. Mm -hmm. Well, aren't I proud of you? I'm sorry, I'm not. Don't forget, I haven't moved out of my parents' house because my father will obviously want to know where I got the money from. That is the same reason why I bought a car and I gave it to Phil. So, please, stop blowing your trumpet. Home is home, my dear. Home is home. So what are you talking about? I beg, you do, you win. I have a date. Hey, hey, wait, 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 now. Uh -uh. Before you go on this new date, why don't you tell me about that sweet guy that dropped you off yesterday? It's not important. And uh, that's your problem. You don't enjoy people from their appearance. I think Michael means well. <sighs> why aren't there surprise? You know him. Oh yeah, that's because he came here looking for you yesterday. Oh girl, you're hot. Really, really, you're hot. Hello. Oh 
my dear, why don't you furnish me with that smile I deserve and I'll take you to wherever you're going. I actually vowed I wasn't going to speak to you. Tell me, what force is this? A force of habit or a force of nature? What are you talking about? You! Why are you always waiting for me outside? You're always waiting. Well, your sister told me she was expecting you, so I waited. Though I missed your going in, I was eventually consoled with the fact that you'd finally, my sexy dear, come out. My friend, you mean? Tell me, what do you want from me? What do I want from you? I want to be your friend. Friend? So that's how you go around making friends with every single woman you run into? Well, if it were to be so, I wouldn't have space for you, my dear. Well, maybe every girl you meet lacks something that I have. Why don't you furnish me with that smile and this gentle mister will be at your service. Mm. I admire your patience. And I admire your stubbornness. Always have to ask me this question each time I walk in and walk out of this house. I will ask you as long as it takes you to become responsible. I went for a job in Paris. For two years, every day you dress like this and say you are going to search for a job. Even on Sundays. But yet, you don't have a job. Papa, it's because you sit down every day. You just sit down here and complain. There are no jobs anywhere. Yes, I sit down here and complain without going out. But I do watch TV and I read newspapers. Maybe if you're connected, I'll have gotten a job by now. Blame me. Blame me for being disconnected. Or, or even being crippled by an accident caused by a wicked mother. Even those who studied abroad and have better degrees, they don't have jobs. There are no jobs anywhere. I mean, I'm even trying. I'm really searching. Only a lazy person idle around and look for a cheap way of looking for money. Continue. Your time is ticking like a clock. As for me, I've done my best. Pius, won't you leave my daughter alone? Can't you see that this is her time? Let her enjoy it now. That's a fool's wisdom. Wise man, have a good look at your life. My only regret is that I was doing so well before you came and sweet turned me into this perpetual bondage. It is a shame that I see in your daughter everything I fought against. Tall ambition with no foundation. Greedy for good things of life without a single thought on how to make it. Hey, let it be. You will never see anything good in her. At least all our neighbors envy her for her achievements. I can't 
celebrate a cheap way of life that has no virtue. Come, let's go, my daughter. God will bless you and bring you a rich man that will take you out of this government. Like mother, like daughter. Greedy, selfish dreamer. Compound fools. I bought two bags and shoes. A what? So much? Oh, this one? Mm -hmm. For me? Mm -hmm. Oh, this was for me. Hey, now you know that your mother is a guy. Mm -hmm. They have not seen anything. Oh, forgive my mama. Oh, forgive my mama. Ah! Hey! this was? Like this one. I'll uh, carry this one like this. Yes. And you put this one either on your neck or you put it on your hand. Uh -huh. like this, uh -huh. We open this hook uh -huh. and it's now tight like this. So if you don't want to wait on your hand, you can wait on your neck. Hey, dude. Bag. Hey! Hey! Okay. And this one too. I want it. No, you don't hold it. That one has its own bag. Uh -huh. so you to go with it. <sighs> My daughter, don't mind your useless father. I am. 100%, 150% proud of you. Thank you, Mama. God will bless you. God will continue to bring rich men that will admire you and give you plenty of money. Amen. Hey! So, how did your business meeting go? I don't remember telling you I went for a business meeting. Well, I had a zero, sir. Except you're telling me you went to a hotel to see a man for something else. Why does it have to be a man? What if I went to see a woman? Certainly not. Listen, I'd appreciate it if you mind your own business. Did I touch your nerve? Is that why you called? Well, yeah, listen, Alex, I actually called to know how you're doing. Well, I'm fine, and I don't want you. Hello? Michael, let me call you back. Or better still, just hold on. All right, I'll hold on. Of course, you do know how. Uh, I love talking to you. Hey, baby. I'm happy for you, you know. Is that what you called me to tell me after embarrassing me with your girlfriend? Calm down, all right? Just got to tell you that I saw you today. Really? Mm-hmm. You're coming out of the hotel with Chiba Ogunye. Oh. So you now follow me around? Last time I checked, you were still my girlfriend, you know. It's my duty to make sure all this fat, rich farts don't play funny with you. If your pride will not allow you to tell me you're sorry, you better hang up because I have another call with you. How much did he give you? You think I'm dumb, right? No, I don't think you're dumb. Malfa, I think you're smart as a beautiful sister. That's probably the reason I love you. Stop deceiving me. Oh, you're getting mad now? Huh? You know, when you get mad like that, baby, you turn me on. Where are you? <laughs> you know where I am. So are you coming to get me? I'm not coming. Well, if you're not coming, baby, then I'm going to just have to come and get you. No, 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 no. I have to make an excuse. Well, make one, baby, because I'm missing you really bad. Bye, sexy. Hello? Yes, hello. You kept me waiting. Oh, Michael. What did you say happened again? Happened? Where? My goodness! Oh my god, when how did this happen? Alita, what are you talking about? Oh god, how is she? Anita, are you talking to me or somebody else? Yeah. My sister, don't cry. Stop crying. Nothing will happen to her in Jesus' name. Yeah, I feel so terrible. Anita. Sorry, eh? I'll call you back. I'll call you back now. Funke. Anita. I'll call you back. Hey. Okay, okay. 
Aneta, what is it? Mama, my friend Funke just had a serious Okada accident. Hey, I hope it's not serious. It's serious. She's unconscious and I hear she's bleeding from the head. You see what I've been telling people about these Okada riders? Thank God you always use taxi, my daughter, until God provides you with a car. Ma, I have to hurry to the hospital. Mm -hmm. She's a very good friend of mine. I have to hurry. Funke, Funke! Mm. What does that supposed to mean, Pius? Is it only an Okada accident? She must have been hit by a plane flying in the air. What is that supposed to mean? Is it not obvious that your daughter wants to go out as usual? And this funky or funky is just an excuse? What is wrong with you? Your daughter's friend just had an accident. <sighs> Fear, Wagi. Snake can only be got a snake. I need concentration, now I'm walking here. Just ignore it, just ignore it. You know what? Take the cup, baby. Oh. Yeah, it could be chief whatever trying to fix the date. We need the money, baby. Go, go. Hello? What do you want? Um, yeah, I, I was beginning to get worried. About what? You know, about you not picking my calls. Listen, don't call my number again, okay? I'm with my boyfriend, you're disturbing me. You were about telling me something the other day. Go on, my love. What was that? Some stupid fool looking for a heartbreak. Baby, let's break his bank account. Theo, shut up and work hard. You're talking to me when I'm in? She definitely is a firebrand. But trust me, I won't get disillusioned so easily. No. Hmm. Alisa, what's your mission in that? What kind of a question is that? <laughs> because I can't believe your love for you to trick you again. Well, my dear friend, there are lots of things you don't know about life. Oh, darling, just educate me. I'm listening. Like the meaning of true love. <laughs> oh, no, no. Anita, you know, Kim, you. Sure, you know. Makachuk, <laughs> uh, if your feel is true love, may I never fall in love in this life? Oh, come on. I mean. You need to have been there. You need to. Oh, why didn't I record it with my phone? He knelt down on the road, just there beside his car, and he asked me to forgive him. Really? Yeah, it was. It was so beautiful. It was magical. It was nice. Well, I would not give that to Phil because I know him. So what happened? We went to his house. The house you helped him pay the rent. It's okay. Continue. And then he <laughs> he made sweet <sighs> to me. Okay. So what happened again? Nothing. We made up. Hmm. So 
What about the ditch you went for yesterday? That stupid old fool. He was nice to me. Really? So how much in drop? 200k. Oh, that's nice. So, here's the money. I bought some things for my mother. What about your father? I can't buy anything from him. Come on. I mean, even if I buy him something, he wouldn't even accept it. Reasons? He wants to know what I'm doing. All the man does is criticize me all the time. So, did you spend all the money on your mother? No, I spent only 60,000. Oh, that's nice. So well, that means um, she have like 140 left. Uh, that should be in your account or something, right? <laughs> but where is it? I gave it to Phil. He's going to give it back to me. He, he said so too. He did. Was he aware of the date? Well, he said he saw me at the hotel. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I knew it, that's it. Does that not explain anything to you? Dummy! <sighs> wow. Wow. Sense where you get, huh? Now in between your legs. Oh, show free. If you want it, one thing, try for yourself. Good is good business, you know that? This is 44, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Yes, yes, nice. I need to call her. I need to impress her to really get what I want from her. Ah, Anita's a real joker. She thinks after selling her body to all those cheap, lousy old men in town, I'll end up with her. And my destination is one place only. U.S. of A. That's where I belong, man. That's where my dreams can come true, man. I know you're new around here, you probably don't understand what it means to be a prime time customer. I have to treat one for that matter. And I'm VIP plus. And that means when I'm shopping, I don't want nobody buzzing around my ear. That means when I'm on frequency in my zone, in my spot. I don't want nobody sharing that speech with me. You got what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. we don't understand English now? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Those people in Spanish spoken to you before you know what to do. Anita, didn't you hear the doorbell ringing? Anita! Oh, you said? What's up with you? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was lost in thought. Soon you'll be lost in transmission. And now you won't begin to think about your life. Oh, come on in. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Didn't you see Michael? What Michael? 
Michael Jackson. Michael Jordan. Where is he? Uh, don't be silly. What's wrong with you? Where is he? Where is he? I can't see Michael. Look, it's all right, some colleague. I'm a fan of her sense of humor. Yeah, please don't mind her, you know. She's a very silly girl, bro. It's okay. You know, I was doing something inside, all right? So I'm going to leave the two of you together to wrap up, you know. So please excuse me. And be good. So tell me, Mr. Jordan, what do you want? Anita, of course you know it's very unfair. I mean, I've been calling you and you've not been... Picking your calls? What does that tell you? Well, it tells me only one thing. You're busy. Wrong answer. It means I'm not interested. Don't you get the picture? Did someone upset you? You! Your presence upsets me. Leave me alone. What part of that English don't you understand? I think it's very unfortunate I walked into you when you were sore. So tell me, did it have to do with last night? What about last night? Yes, last night you told me you were with your boyfriend. Why, oh, yes. Oh, of course I was with my boyfriend. We were actually making love. But your calls kept on interrupting the section. This is the part where I tell you, thank you very much. Well, if this your love making is as good as you make it seem, why are you feeling this way right now? None of your business. It's my business, my dear, because I know I didn't walk into you by mistake or by accident. And how does that put Gary on my table? Jordan? The problem is you're not looking at the table properly, my dear. Because if you were, you'd see the difference. Really? Yes. Obviously. If you tell me, what difference does that make? The difference is you're looking at a real man. A man with a sense of personality and belonging. And a sense of direction too. Me. I did not agree to lunch with you because of that cheap rhyme you told me. <laughs> you know you're simply impossible. Am I? Yes. I mean, one minute you act nice and the next minute you act as if you're possessed. Don't be too sure. I might be. Well, welcome to my church because I'm actually going to cast away all the demons in you. Wouldn't that be nice? Because I'm so sure the demons will come right into you. God forbid. You know, lover boy, I think you should really be careful, else you get your ass burnt. In spite of everything, you know I still find you very irresistible. Yeah. Hi, did you? What are you talking about? Oh, my dear, I'm thinking that maybe you have a hard on now and you want me to go down on you. Tell me. What's your favorite position? The back, front, me and you, or you and me? And what makes you think with you I'm after sex? Huh? What else would you want? You know, there's something about you I still find very intriguing. Your sense of adventure is so, so captivating. Whoa. I mean, life to you is like a stage where you're the actor and the rest of us may expect Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, can I possibly change the cheap lunch you bought for me before you give me on that philosophical analogy? Anita. All I'm saying is let me into your life. Let me play a good part in your world. You need help. <laughs> see me see trouble. They send you. No, they send you. Anyway, you can't afford me. Sorry. Like the man you went to meet at the hotel? Well, the answer is no. But I have something better to offer you. It's called friendship. Friendship like you've never known or felt before. Bros. You don't reach insult. No vex. Well, Mr. Michael, or whatever you call yourself, stay away from me. Keep whatever fantasies you have of me to yourself. If I ever see your face around me again, huh, I'll tell my boyfriend. And trust me, he plays really rough and dirty.
You know, walking out on me like that was very unladylike. And calling me a slut was very gentlemanly, I suppose? I never said such a thing. Oh, really? Well, it makes no difference. You said I went to the hotel to see a man. That means that I sell my body for money, right? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, it is? What if the man I went to see was my uncle? I mean, why am I even explaining to you? Look, if you don't mind, I... excuse me. Listen, all I was just trying to say is, I don't have as much money as that man does. Oh, trust me, of course you don't. I mean, no, there's no doubt you don't. I wasn't even thinking that you did. I mean, I was only trying to amuse myself by spending time with you and making your miserable day. Chief Oguyami is a money bag and his escapades with women in this town is very, very notorious. Oh, thank you, Sean. That's a German word that means thank you. I think I'll be on my guide when next I see him. Well, you don't have to, not if he's your uncle like you claim. Well, I meant... I mean, how are you related? He's Yoruba and you're from Delta. Actually, him and I are... I... <laughs> Why am I even explaining to you? Listen, you're not getting me out of your life that easy. Stop dreaming. You're not in my life. You're not even likely to be in my life. Oh. Are you going to open the door or are you just going to stand there staring at my bum? Here, yeah, gentlemen. Say please. What? You heard me. I said say please. I don't know I'm not saying please. I'm still waiting. Well, fine, fine. Please open the door. I tell you thank you very much. on the fashion sense of the highest brother that ever walked to this bra. <laughs> right here is brother. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. It's the top of the ring G clock thing by DNG. Dr. Gabana in case you don't know man. See this out? Oh well, well. This is Banana Republic. Ralph Lauren baby. <laughs> See? I went to Salvador the other time. That's why I got this chain. And this is the one and only Pablo of suit making. The best there is Gucci baby. When you wear it you <laughs> and this right here please before you start giving me little deal of boys in the new club baby excuse me limited edition by for well <laughs> okay are you the one top of the line man top of the line. oh thank you very much what about Ada? well point is that Ada is doing okay she went with her dad on some stupid business trip Anita is taking care of me right now you're talking about Anita why don't you just take this girl seriously excuse me I mean she cares for you. She has actually changed your life. Then why would I take any woman seriously? That's why you're up in here looking like this. Because women are piling up bills for you and your pain. You're their muku. You can get with the program, man. Well, how do you mean? Dude, listen. You are really slow, you know that? You know, that's what it's true what they say about tall people. They are really, really dumb. Seriously. Well, the point right here is, uh, let me explain how it is. God meant it that way, that brothers will have choices. Because let me take you back memory lane, give you a little bit of history. When God created Adam, he put Adam beautiful Eden and said, my man, go prosper. And he got in there and started prospering. And one day he said, God, you can't do this to me. Let me look around every night. I need a partner. So God said, you know what? Let me give you Eve. So bam, one day, Adam woke up and fell as Eve was looking at him, butt naked and all that. He got mad, said in that thing. The devil got a little jealous and like, you can't in that thing while I'm all in here, all lonely. The competition started. And that's how it is with women. You need to treat them like they're nothing. You need to know how to. Don't let them 
Damn, I wonder where you're getting all these orientation room, but that's what, what I read from the Bible. <laughs> you were bad for your pack of shit. I know, man, but the truth of the matter is that some people were made bad, some were born bad, and born bad. Alright? You need to learn how this thing goes, baby. That's how it goes. Yeah, I'm learning, trust me. Dude, you ain't learn nothing. Because look at you to start with. Nobody does purple. What are you, gay? I'm blue and a yellow band. Now look at the baseball cap. Oh, it's like that one I saw in on the bridge. But that's fine. The point of the matter is that nobody does it like this. But you gotta come smoking, peeping all the time, 247. That's why women take it for granted. Because by the time they check you out from head to toe and they're counting worse to worse, 2,500 naira on you, they get mad. But, anyways, that's not how it goes. The point is that look at this. Yeah. Why won't you concur with everything I say when you're emptying my bottle of honey? Excuse me, I'm your guest. I, I, take, guess, I take care of you when you're my guest and you're finishing my bottle of honey. No, well, let me call for a refill, man. Let me help your life. But last time I, I went to your house, I saw different bottles of scent raining all over the place. Uh, this is the last bottle I saw in there. Where are you going to get the refill from? What well, is your problem? What's your problem? Enjoy my hospitality, okay? Don't ask where it's coming from. Don't insult. You hear what I'm saying? Just sit there, look like a big boy constructor and drink the thing. Half sleeve, one sleeve, two sleeve, three. Let me go for sleeve two. Where you at? I am... Uh, I'm in a taxi. Oh, for real? <clears throat> I want you here right now. Alright, I'm coming there right away. And listen on your way, alright? Get me um, three bottles of my favorite uh, <laughs> water. Pure water. What is wrong with you? You're, you're just as slow as the company I have right now. You, mean you should need to be fast. When I'm talking about what I'm talking about Hennessy, get me three bottles of Hennessy. question I don't ask. What I want is what I want. I don't care how you get it. You understand? Are you getting it or not? But I get oh, you just gave me what? Oh, you want to go down like that? Okay, fine. No problem. I'll call somebody else. I'll talk to you later. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get to what I'm doing. But I hurry, baby. Bring your big behind here to daddy. That is what you okay? <laughs> All right, baby. Take care. You see what I mean? That's my Eve over there. I'm the Adam. You need to treat yourself like Adam. Stop treating yourself like the sleeves. You understand? You look like the Philistine right now. I'm looking like the Israelite. But let, let me give you another history. Recently, recently, the consensus of the world over stated that there are more women than men. Why do you think God made it so? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, what do you know? You don't know nothing, you know that? How do you survive? How do you even wipe your behind in the morning? Well, let me explain it to you. God made it so, so we have choices. So you have no business sticking to one woman. You know what I mean? You have no business looking sorry at that. You don't make a lot of money, I can see that. Now you're taking three quarter of that and taking care of a woman. And then that's why you can only afford clothes like that. Why don't you begin to live like a Didi, like me? Things will get better for you. So drink your hand as you can finish it right now. Let me help you. I'll give you a bottle to go home too. Don't forget, this is Prada, man. Shit. Your countenance changed after that call, so it's only natural for me to show concern. Thank you, Sean. Thank you very much. But since you're so concerned, why don't you start by lending me 30,000 naira? I'll give it back to you. I mean, I'll try. I'll try to give it back to you. What do you need it for? Hmm. Miser. 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 I knew it. It's not like I even asked you for 300,000 naira. Miser. I was going to be here. Uh, thank you very much. Now you're finally turning out to be handy. Just look for a supermarket and pack. What do you want to get there? None of your business. I guess you're going to call me Miser again, huh? Well, no, Miser. No, no, you're not a Miser. You've agreed to give me 30,000 naira. You're my handyman. Yes, my handyman. <laughs> so what's with the celebration? Celebration? Yeah, I mean the alcohol and all. Do you have a problem? Just wanted to know you better, my dear. Well, I think you ask too many questions and you're coming on too strong. Do I? Pack over there. Yeah. 
Over there. Yes, here. Here. Where are we? I guess you can find your way out, can't you? I guess you can. What a door you have here. This is your boyfriend's house, right? Yes. You have a problem with that? No, it's just that um, you led me through another street to this place. I thank you for being a good friend. Well, that's a good start. What? Yeah, you just called me good friend. <laughs> I just wanted to make your day. So tell me, are you two back together again? We're never apart. <laughs> After the way he treated you? Mind your business. Yeah, anyways, um, quick question. Uh, do I still hang around, you know, just in case he kicks you out again and this time without your clothes on? Hmm. You wish. Be my guest. Stop staring at my boom. Wake up, lazy bone. Food is ready. This is all you know how to do. Sleep. Oh, baby, you know that's all I can do. <laughs> I know how to hump you well. <laughs> I love it. Silly you. Come and eat something. Okay, baby. Hello? You're outside my gate? I, I thought you were supposed to be in Abuja. Uh, um, only my gate man is around. I'm, I'm not at home. He let you through? You're where by the door? Yeah, um, okay. Um, I'm, I'm coming to get the door. Who was that? Uh, you look worried. What is the problem? Who's that the problem? No, 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 come on. I am. I need you to do me a favor. Okay. Okay, I want you to go upstairs, pack all your stuff carefully, make sure you don't leave anything around, and go through the back room. Why would I do that? What do you mean, why would you do that? I have an emergency here. My family is outside. Your family? Yes, my, my mom, my aunt, and the kids. You silly! This is a nice opportunity for me to get to meet your mom. What are you talking about? Go and see who. You see, that's how my mom knocks. That's exactly how she knocks. She has this soft knock. Listen, what you need to do is go pack your things and leave right now. I can't do that. Come on! What time is it? My mother in law. You! Come back here. What's wrong with you? I can't go and leave my mother in law. Look at what you're wearing. What is wrong? I'll change. Come back here, John. Don't you get it? Why are you always making me talk too much? This is a very simple matter. Listen, all you do is hump me. You don't want to know anything about me. Well, let me explain. I'm from a strict Catholic traditional family. If they see you here, your future home is over. How? Why? Because we're not supposed to be together. We're not supposed to be having premarital sex. We, you, we can't be together until marriage day. Don't you know how Catholics will behave? My mom is actually the, the, the head of the Women Association of Catholics in, in Easter Zoo. But Phil, we need to get to, I mean, I need to get to Mill House. But so that's not to... the best way. What we need go to... and mm, mm, go get dressed. Tomorrow, go get dressed in like in gown, wear gown or wrapper. Appear tomorrow, I'll introduce you to her. One hand, it'll make me find a ring in two days. I'm telling you, my mom will love you. Let me see her face. Look, look, look at my face. Her face is like my face. What is your problem? What else do you want to see there? What, 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 that, that, that's the problem with you. You want them to bring me a girl from the village, right? All, all, all you have to do is just comply and then tomorrow you come and meet and everything will be fine. Go oh, now, you, you, your, your fronting is too much, please. And pack everything, but don't leave your earrings like you usually do. Pack everything. I'm coming, mom. Come on, you 
idea. Baby, what took you so long? I was upstairs, I was sleeping. I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. When I told you I'm out here, are you supposed to be tired or are you supposed you're to be tired? Let's not make a case out of this. No real big deal. Come on, let's go. Ah! This is so evil. Oh, Go in now. <laughs> So I take it to be that you came to pay me a late night visit? Perhaps there's someone else in this house? Feminine? I'm sorry to hurt your ears, but I live here alone and do not have a girlfriend. What's the history for? You asked me the question. Well, the fact that she didn't come here tonight and you weren't able to catch for yourself a loser bird doesn't make you a decent person. Apparently the only bird I'm willing to catch is still caged. Maybe if the door is let loose a little bit, this bird could fly out? and play with you when the owner is not watching. That's not my style. You see, I prefer the bird to gain its freedom. Because I tell you this, we're all in chains except we decide to lose ourselves from whatever shackle that is holding us. Back to your psychological lessons again. Can you be kind enough to give me a drink? Something strong, preferably. I know how you feel. Your drink coming up. Hey, that's an Aldo. And you are impossible. Welcome to my world. is potent and no it's hitting your heart. You're getting drunk. Give me the bottle, give me the bottle. Baby, give me the bottle. <laughs> No, 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 give me the bottle, baby. No, no. Give me the bottle. No, 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 stop, me stop me fighting me. so hard. No. Oh, damn bottle. No. Come here, come here, come here, Come here. Alright. You wanna get high, baby? Yeah, baby. Hmm? Up off the mountain? Huh? Hot lava. And I want it. Mm -hmm. And I want it melting. Get down. 
So you want to feel this hot thing you've rocked all over you? I want to know if that will go through it. I can't believe that. Because right. no, the valley is about to receive it, baby. Okay, no, baby. Not now, baby. Not now. Baby. Come down. Why? Not now. Why, baby? baby, you know me better than that. That's why you love me. Hmm? <laughs> no, baby, I'm not scared. But I just don't want it now. Come on, you know better than that. Why not? What's wrong with you? Oh, it's not there. It's not high. <laughs> yeah, well, what you do you mean? Why? Well, I guess you're gonna tell me. Because this mountain has had several volcanic eruptions. Oh, baby, you're drunk. I need to take you upstairs. Oh, shut up! Shut up, Phil. Okay, I know. But this mountain has had several volcanic eruption, throwing its half melting lava between another valley. <laughs> <laughs> ah, baby, you know what? You're talking crazy right now, okay, baby? Oh. Huh? Come on, baby, come on. Baby, come on. Yeah. Perhaps I'm drunk. Perhaps I'm drunk. But, uh, but I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. Hey, this has been everything. What does he explain now? Come on, come on, baby. Let's don't spare me, okay? Don't spare me, okay, Phil. You've been babysitting since I left home. Don't spare me. You're, You're getting all walked up right now. You shouldn't be doing that. Let's go upstairs, get some sleep. Oh, you feel better. Let me alone. I knew from the moment I stepped in here that there was a woman. Oh, you think I was convinced about the jazz of being a terrific chef? Oh no, Phil. You've got nose. Sneef, liar! Yeah. I can still smell her. No, Alright, baby, I, I feel like a lunatic. Now let me tell you. Baby, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Come here. Let me talk to you. Okay? Alright, there's a woman. Okay? But it's, it's, it's not my woman. It, it's Kent's babe. She came out here to do something. Oh, shut up! No. Shut up, you! You're making it worse! I knew it, Anita! I knew! I knew it, her! I don't even know what you're saying, that loser! I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, well, Alright, right. if you want, drink yourself to death. That's what you have. <laughs> It's okay, baby. Daddy's here. Daddy's here. Give no, me the no, no, Give me no, the damn bottle. Why are you so stubborn? To bring you a blanket to come sleep here, baby. All right, let me bring you a blanket and a pillow. That's what I need to do, okay? So, you, no, baby, you need to sleep. All right, get some sleep tomorrow morning. We'll talk about it. I'll bring you a blanket, just wait. You have to take it easy on the couch. I'm fine, I can handle it. You do know it's not good for a lady to drink too much. Damn um, it. Are you still putting me up on the fence or are you usually like this? This is simply me. I'm only transparent. Hmm. And I must say you're a very nice guy. And I know you're a nice girl too. Perhaps driven by unforeseen forces. <sighs> me? I'm just tired of life. You know, I try my very best to make things work between Phil and I. Yeah, well, that's understandable. I mean, sometimes in life, we tend not to appreciate what we have until it's gone. I wish I could just walk away, you know? Start life afresh. Walk away from everything surrounding me. What I'll say is you should relax and calm down, okay? I mean, follow your heart. Everything has its time and season. Things will take its natural course. Strong. I thought you wanted me. Of course I want you. 
But your mind is somewhere else. Tommy, do you believe the story about his mother, his auntie stuff? Do you want my candid opinion? Because as it is, I'm not the right person to give you advice considering the fact that I want spoils of the war. There's something I give you credit for, it's your honesty. I'll take your opinion without a flinch. Well, if you insist he was lying, another girl showed up. I know. I love him. I love him, man. I'm so addicted to him, you know? He's like a virus. He's eating deep into me and I'm dying gradually. I need to go to sleep now. I'm going to work in the morning. Use the guest room. Straight down that door over there. Thank you. You're welcome. Turn off the lights before you go to bed. Hey, hey, a drink.
<laughs> All right, hey. since you've rejected the guest room, just lie down, okay? I'll hold you. Okay. All right? Okay? Mm -hmm. Promise to be a good girl. Promise. Okay. Promise on my boobies. <laughs> Last night, what do you expect? It's called hangover. Deal with it. You'll be fine. What happened? What do you mean? <laughs> Baby, I'm naked. You what? I'm naked! Hello, big boy. I'm naked too. That's surprising. Please. What happened? What did you do to me? What did you do to me? You wanna know what I did to you? Hmm? Last night, I made you scream. I made you beg for it. You were insatiable. You screamed and sang in Spanish. Swahili, English, French. Yeah, you even sang in Idoma. <laughs> I guess it's really interesting language for that thing. I hate you. I hate you. That wasn't what you were saying last night. I hate you. You were asking for more and more and more. It wasn't I hate you last night you were singing, baby. We nearly broke my bed. We kept my neighbors up all night till the early morning. I feel. Now, don't think we're back to comfort zone, okay? Ouch. As soon as I get rid of my terrible headache, we have to talk about last night. God, baby, anytime you want to revisit last night, no more yours. This time, like I said, let's try it do. It's really interesting language for shagging. Shut up! Just mm. shut up! Mm -hmm. Now, stand up, I'm gonna make me strong black coffee okay you i need coffee you want strong black coffee baby is this how your mom talks to your dad baby what did i say you know growing up our brothers mixed up your your sense of reason because if it was a different climate like a cold one and i'm white then that might sit well but this is africa in case you haven't noticed i'm a black man <laughs> Power to the people. In other words, baby, where I come from, the women get their big butts up, fix breakfast, fix the house, then wake up the man to eat a big hearty breakfast. That's how it's gonna go down. You're gonna get your king size watermelon into my kitchen and cook me a big hearty breakfast. After what I expelled, my big boy needs to be fed. Yeah. I can't believe you're talking to me this way. Maybe if you don't like the way I'm talking to you, pick up your shit. Your bra is somewhere there with your undies. I think I left the belt and whatever. Just pick up your stuff and leave. This is my house. I buy by the rules. So get up, fix me breakfast. When I wake up, I want to get some breakfast. I hate you. Yeah, I love you. I hate you. Stop morning and go get the breakfast. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I love you. What are you doing? What are you drawing to do me for? What are you covering? You want to cover yourself to the kitchen? I've seen everything already. Last night when your leg was north and south, you didn't know, right? And then when we were doing all the acrobatic thing, you didn't know. Well, I'm not like you. I don't front. You check my black bottle all you want. You were grabbing it all night too. <laughs>
Most men will have taken advantage of me and brutally abused my body. Well, I'm not every man. I'm Michael. Now eat and relax. I have to run home now. Thank you. Time and money on fuel. Get new law here. Yeah. You go follow me here. Yeah. You sign register before you enter. That's if Oga don't approve her. Says who? Oga. Screw your Oga. I think. Look. Screw my Oga. Oga is sleep. With his mother, I presume. I think. If you enter this house now, you will put me for trouble. That is the same trouble you will get into if you don't get out of my way. out of this place right now. <laughs> oh, I mean to oh, whatever. Look, I am not scared of you, okay? The other time you took me all the way, that was because I came to come and you were big of me now. But now, hmm. you and I are getting married. So, what did you say? Israel! Come here! 
go and call police immediately. Do you understand? Now! Tell her that they are the final steps. Yeah. To break up my things. What? What is your mother coming here? This no more. Did you take the rabies medicine or something? Get out of my house. You, 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 my car keys, right now! Car keys? Yes, I bought the car to my money, it's my sweat, and I want it right now! The problem is you can't take the girl out of the gate even after you're taking her out of the gate. I'm telling you, what is wrong with you? I've been trying to upgrade your life, but it's not working. So you're still the same girl, and you will never change. Well, Phil, don't forget that this girl made you who you are. You are nothing. So nothing, okay? I'm going to tell the whole world. I'm going to unmake you just the way I made you. Oh yeah, right. I'm going to take my car back, take my house back, back to the streets. That's where you go. Mm -hmm. And you, my car keys. My car keys. Are you going to come and go and watch your house or something like that? Yes. Oh, man. My car keys. Honey, I need to stand there doing nothing. No, no, don't say nothing. No, 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 don't worry about it. Let her keep running her mouth like a top rider. I'll soon shut it for you. Yes, I will. Oh, no. Honey, I can't take this anymore. I'm bleeding. Mm -hmm. to feel sounds, you got into a fight and here you are. Feel. It was feel that punched me. I guess I passed out. How'd you get here? He called me and he was kind enough. He brought you to the hospital. Where is she? The girl? She left with feel. Okay, from what I saw, she's in a very bad shape. I don't know you to be a fighter. What did you do to her? It's just the beginning. Mm. Oh, 
Thomas, darling, we're not yet. Sweetie, you try the first fight. See where it landed you. She don't need violence. It's not the best option. That's the only way she can make life feel for me. You're still fighting for fear? Then why did you make me call Michael? Huh? You were like, call Michael, call Michael, so I had to call him. Oh no, no. I want him to see me like this. It's okay. I want him to see me in this condition. Uh, again, I don't know. Because I also called your mother. You did? Yeah. No, I'm dead. Uh, see, you don't look bad as you think, alright? You're still okay. Just relax, everything will be fine. Alright, just take all those things off your mind and... Baby, stop pacing around. Stop pacing around, baby, okay? You're making me terribly nervous. Look at this. What, 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 what are we talking about here? Look at this. Look at what she did to your lovely face. This is getting out of hand. Let's just pray that she regains consciousness. You don't want the police to start getting nosy around and cause you more problem. I wish she dies. Is it by force to be in a relationship? Well, it's your fault. Yes. It's your fault. If you did what you ought to have done, this wouldn't have happened. What was I supposed to have done? Baby, you lied to me. You lied to me. And that means you're the one that allowed her back in your life. Listen, she made certain crazy claims. I just called over here to sort things out. How was I supposed to know you were going to show up? Oh. I get it now. So she's saying the truth. Is she? Well, she, she, she spent a little money getting me one or two stuff, but I don't mean it's only our money that was spent in this regard. Uh -huh. There you go. Baby. Baby, look, I have never been involved in a fight all my life. I have never. Had. Look, if I if I can get into a fight with this lady twice because of you, it means I love you. It means I care about you. Baby, I'm sorry the way things are turning out. Really, I am. I'm sorry. It's okay. Look at me. Do you love me? Baby, come on, come on. Why can't you say, ask if I love you? Isn't it obvious? I mean, it, it's much more than love. Love is an understatement. I, uh, your, my whole world revolves around you. I adore you. Hmm? So, baby, would you marry me? Huh. Uh -huh. Well, well, as a matter of policy, baby. I'm inclined not to answer questions like that, but as it were, um, I mean, I breathe you, you know? You know what it means to eat someone, to sleep someone, to wake someone, to think someone? Well, what else is there? We're far better than some couples. It's just a question of making it official, you know that? Right. Look, I know my parents are really going to get angry about this, but I'll have to put up good defense mm. so that I'll keep you out of it. Okay. Appreciate that. It's very kind of you. <laughs> so, darling, mm. I want you to get an agent that will look for a new house in a better part of town. Okay. And I want you to choose a car of your choice. <laughs> <laughs> I just want this Anita business to end. And I think it's about time I take you to meet my dad. Yes, yes, yes. I, I think so too. But, but um, all in good time, baby. You know, everything in this world is about timing. You understand? Uh, let's start with this time first of all. I'm. It's. I don't think it's nice we go spend the millions getting me a house and another car. Anita is the problem. Let's give her back all the money that I owe her, and everything will be in order. You know, give me the money, I'll give her back, and then it's over. She will have no claim anymore. Yeah, you that's know? true. Yeah. <laughs> baby, mm. you know I love you. I love you more, baby. And I will do anything to protect you. Me too, baby. I'll die for you. 
Kiss Kiss. Hmm. 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 Anita, I know I don't have a right over you. But just look at you. Anything could have happened to you, you know. If any of you would have picked a dangerous object and hit the other, it would have been a different story by now. A lot of things you don't know about me. Most of them are very shameful. That doesn't matter to me. The most important thing is you realize your mistakes and start a new life. What are you suggesting? That I let him go without recovering any of my things? Not even my car? Oh, come on, Kelly. How many people know you have a car? See, you've been without a car all this while, so why make a big deal out of it now? I know how you feel. Okay, I do. But you have to understand that whatever you did for him, you did out of love. If he doesn't want you anymore, you cannot force him or force yourself. It's that simple. Hey! Anita! Who did this to my daughter? Ma, please. Please. Yes, you! Yes, you! I did this to my daughter! No, 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 it's Philip. Who is Philip? And where is he? I don't know. Mama, can you stop worrying about who did what to who? Please. Anita, don't say that. We might not be rich. But no man born of woman would touch my daughter and get away with it. Uncle. Kuleva. You are going to show me where this Philip lives. He must be arrested. Now, now, now! Get up! Mama, I don't, Get know, up. I don't know his house. Mama, I... are you going to stop watching me? You want me to get up from this bed and walk away and never come back? Please stop. Please, you don't want me to show them that I am your mother. My son, sir. I have heard all that happened. And I thank you very much for your support. May God reward you for your kindness. Thank you very much, sir. Funny enough, you are the first man who visited my daughter at home. No, that is true. I'm a blunt man. You see, my daughter's lifestyle has not been impressive. Perhaps that is why she hides her male friends from home. The truth is that every parent wishes their children well and pray that they associate with decent and responsible people. That's true, sir. Very true. This Philip, this rascal Philip, who has done this to her, perhaps he has been deceiving her. And because she keeps things away from me, I am in no position to advise her. Sir, I uh, believe Alita must have learned from her lessons and will remain a changed person. Glory be to God, because that has been my prayers. You see, women are like canker worms. They eat into your system gradually. They tear you apart and destroy you. You see, my son, be wise. Learn how to handle them. You will enjoy them. I'm talking to you out of experience. Thank you, sir. I think I must excuse you to meet your friend. She thought I did not see her signaling you from behind. Thank you very much. Sorry. Would you want to eat something? No. Come on, 
that will not make my mother happy. She spent all her time with you. Alright, only on one condition. Please. Promise me you stay away from her. I want no one else. Alright. I wasn't seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> 